this is Taylor. And I'm Tide Eyes, and this is the producer masterclass for our track, One Look. I was in between houses and living in a guest house, and I had my computer, I had some headphones, and I was just making tracks all day. And I had this really cool idea um, that I was looking for a vocalist to sing on. It was a very simple, very simple song. And I thought to myself, let me send it to Taylor. Yeah, and uh, I got the song and immediately liked it. Um, usually I'm not someone who easily collaborates and um, I just liked it off the bat. I think there was a very strong melody and there was a lot of potential for um, cool stuff to be done. And um, I think we even, when we met up to actually do the track together, we um, did it in one take. I don't remember a lot of takes. Yeah. Um, and that's the style I prefer writing in. So to hear the track and then to hear it once, max, and then kind of just go like, cool, run with it. So we recorded a demo and then we went off to a friend of ours. His name is Peach van Pletsen and he's got a studio in Pretoria. We went to record the, the proper vocal there. And then I brought the stems back to my studio and mixed it, yeah. We'll take a look at the project a bit later and you'll see that there's really nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's a good thing, that's exactly, a good sign. That's where the magic is. Yeah. So in terms of the vocals, first of all the lyrics came really easily. So once I got myself into studio, um, I don't remember being in the booth for too long. Um, I think it was a case of um, just getting a nice warm tone and it's quite a sexy track so um, I also wanted to keep it very sparse um, and I think that's what made it so magical. There we go, so that's the full chorus. If I mute the bass and I mute that one melody sound, there's like, there's just drums and vocals so there's really not a lot going on, but I think if we focus on the sound, um, it's kind of the one that fills up the track and just makes it, um, gives it body and gives it some, just gives it some grit at the same time. It's quite dirty. So, uh, I'll just go through how I made it. So it's just a simple, simple sound from the Mini Moog that I tweaked a little bit. Um, it's called the MM Asia. I dig this synth, by the way. Um, and what I did, how I started, this is the, this is kind of what the MIDI looks like. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Just a simple little progression. It kind of uh, um, progresses the chords change slightly as it as it goes, but it's very simple and it just loops. So I started with a simple delay. Then, then an EQ, I just took out uh, the bottoms and kind of boosted the tops a little bit. I always cut from 18,000 hertz onwards because I don't know if you really hear it. Maybe you do, but <laughs> I don't. Then, I added quite a heavy bit crusher, which kind of gives it some distortion and some dirt and just like... A bit of crackle kind of brings it to life. Then I EQ'd again, um, which kind of makes quite a big difference um, with that curve over there. The bit crusher kind of adds in a whole bunch of frequencies after you EQ it the first time, so then you have to go back and just kind of do that process again and kind of get the get the sound to sit in the in the in the spectrum where you want it to. I added a side chain compressor to the kick drum, which kind of makes it pulsate. It's quite heavily compressed there, it's like it's moving quite a bit. Then a plugin that I use quite often is uh, this Waves S1 Imager, which kind of just takes it from being down the middle and just like spreads it across the across the spectrum. Just so it fills out the sound quite nicely. And then also this, the last plugin is also this Waves um, API 550B, which is a cool EQ. 
and it just like slightly brings out the tops. Um, so there's that sound going on. There's a cool. So yeah, this is uh, the bass sound that I used. It's kind of simple. Um, we've run out of time on this video, so if you want to see kind of, uh, if you want to know more about this track and how I'm how I made it. Um, Go to www.bonetownrecords.com and there's all our contact details there and just drop us a line and we'll we'll put up the full you know the full master class so yeah cool so we made another track um, that we're going to be previewing in another episode of bone town tv it's called where you are so stay tuned and look out for it it's super cool.